Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Step Productions back with another video. And today I'm bringing a tutorial for Open Broadcaster software version 0.571 as you can see up here. And um in my previous video that I had made reviewing this software, I had a couple of comments asking me to do a tutorial on how to set up specific scenes with certain sources in them like I'm doing now. As you can see I have a monitor capture source inside my general capture scene and I have a live bar uh, 2 source which if I select it now you can see that there is a live bar up around here and um, if I drag this below the monitor capture or actually I have to right click order and move down now it's no longer visible but if I right click order move to top or move up it will be visible again so to do this I've set up a scene called tutorial and all I have in there right now is a source called monitor capture because if I didn't have this then you guys would just be able to see a uh, black screen right now so setting up my first source of the monitor capture wouldn't actually show up but to show you how to do it, I'm going to uh, set up another monitor capture. So, uh, if you want to add a new scene, let me just go through that quickly. You right click in the box for scenes and go to add scene. And you can name it and it'll show up on this list. And then in each scene you have sources. So, right now, monitor capture. If I uncheck this, the screen goes black. If I check it again, then you can see my monitor again. So you right click again and you can add a sort of scene so let me add a monitor capture as I was showing you and um, you can name it so monitor capture 2 and then you click OK and it brings up some stuff so um, I have two monitors on my computer and the one I'm recording right now is monitor 2 and so I'm uh, I'm just going to set up so that it records monitor 2 as well because as you can see monitor 1 has a very odd uh, aspect ratio to it so monitor 2 1920 by 1080 you can change a couple of different things here um, I tend to leave this stuff alone um, since I don't really know too much about what it does and then you can click OK and it shows up here on your list of sources so uh, as you can see you can check and uncheck it and why you don't notice a difference when I uncheck it is that I still have uh, this up so right now you're seeing monitor capture with no number after it and now you're seeing monitor capture too and again I can order it so move down uh, and move up I can change it the position and this isn't too useful with a monitor capture but later when I show you how to set up something like this live bar here um, the positioning and size of it is quite useful and um, you can rename it remove it and go back to the properties uh, page and change that stuff and um, that's it so Next I'm going to show you how to uh, create a game capture, so uh, something like Minecraft or uh, Call of Duty on PC, Battlefield 3, uh, Starcraft 2, anything. Again you're going to want to click, right click and go to add and then you're going to go down to game capture and you can name it whatever you want, so I'll name mine MC for Minecraft and what you can do is if you have the application open so you can see I have Minecraft open uh, it should show up here under applications so I'm gonna go down to Minecraft 1.6.4 and if it doesn't show up you can open up the application and then hit refresh so if you see me uh, where's my games file? There it is. 
and what would open quickly? Terraria. Oh, Steam's updating. Well, anyways, while that loads, um, I'm going to do the Minecraft one, so I'm going to hit OK. And now, since I have Minecraft minimized, you guys actually are seeing a black screen right now. But if I make Minecraft full screen, sorry about Steam being annoying. If I make Minecraft full st screen, now you guys can see only my Minecraft application. So if I uncheck that, you're back to seeing my desktop or if I move it down so now I'm going to uh, go to the order and move down and so now you guys will just see the Minecraft with this uh, application bar up here but what's nice about the game capture thing is that it only captures the inside of the window so now you shouldn't be able to see my application bar up on top. And as you can see, Terraria is loaded. So if I go to, or as you can hear rather, if I go to add and game capture, and I'll name this one Terraria, then I go onto the lists. Now you can see Terraria. So if I add that, now you can see Terraria. And if I make this full screen, it should show up full screen for you guys as well. So next I'm gonna go into adding some smaller pieces such as the live bar that I have up here and uh, I'll be right back. One quick thing I do want to add is that I know when I was showing my uh, game capture thing before you guys could still see the application uh, wi window up here as well as my hotbar and to get rid of that all you want to do is right click on your game capture go to properties and uh, click stretch image to screen as well as ignore aspect ratio and now if I switch over to my minecraft you'll see that nowhere here can you see the application uh, window or my hotbar so sorry about that but I hope that clears things up a bit now you can see the application window and my hotbar so uh, now I'm gonna get back into putting the smaller uh, p bits onto your screen so now I'm gonna show you guys how to add smaller pictures into your scenes such as this live bar up here at the top and um, what you're gonna wanna do is go into your scene that you're setting it up for right click on sources go to add image and I'll name mine live bar and you can browse for your image so here's my live stream bar and I can open it and here are some of the uh, properties of the image that you can change for instance you can change the opacity uh, I'm gonna leave it at 100 because I want it to show up fully and uh, the color key here is if you're using an image such as words uh, that have a background color, say it's white or even orange or whatever, you can uh, write or check this use color key and select what color. And so, say I didn't want to see any of this color in my image, uh, then that's now selected as my color key, but I'm going to leave it at white and what this does is gets rid of all of the white in the image so just the other colors will show up so that gets rid of any of the background of the picture but since my image does not have any background color I'm gonna leave that unchecked so once you're done with the properties you can click OK and it'll show up here but as you can see it's not centered so what you can do is right click on the source and go to position and size and then you can change its position so I'm going to center it horizontally and as you can see it's not a huge change but now there is an even amount of space on either side of it 
and um, if you want to you can uh, move it to say the center vertically so now it's in the very middle of my screen or you can change I'm going to change it back to the top but you can also change the sizing of it so if you want to fit it to the screen then it's going to widen out a bit and I can move it back to the top like so so now it fits the entire width of my screen and you can do a couple of other things to manipulate these images to get them however you want obviously I'm not the best artist since the bar here isn't that uh, fancy but I just threw together something quickly so that I could use it as an example and um, as you can see when I check my Minecraft source and bring it up uh, it stays on top as long as it is the top layer here so if I go back to my monitor capture and I move this down so order move down now it's below my Minecraft application so if I bring Minecraft back up and switch to the Minecraft source you can no longer see the bar but if I'm just doing a monitor capture since it's below the live bar on the list of sources you can see the uh, bar up here so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did uh, feel free to leave a rating or even favorite it uh, comment if you have any questions or suggestions for any other tutorials that you want me to do and uh, subscribe if you want to see more and have a good day guys